Good afternoon, uh, dear students and all my listeners. I am Dr. Rajesh Avale, Department of English. Uh, today, I would like to discuss an interesting poem called "Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening." This beautiful, wonderful poem is written by Robert Frost. This poem has been a source of inspiration to millions of students, readers all over the world. The reason being the kind of moral this poem has to imbibe in the life of everybody. So today it's time for discussing an interesting poem called "Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening." Let's. try to understand the maker the creator of this enchanting poem called stopping by woods on a snowy evening this poem is written by robert frost an american poet he is also famous as a nature poet i would like to ask you one question when we are most happy in our life are we happy in the company of money are we happy in the company of materialism are we happy in the company of spiritualism or are we happy in the world of nature at the same time try to understand whether are we happy in the company of our friends relatives 90% the answer is no because we know that nature is one of the greatest source of inspiration and happiness to everybody so today let's talk about robert frost a nature poet an american poet and a changer of everybody in the 21st century robert frost believed that life is like a ladder and he has compared this particular poem with the life of the people when we say life is like a ladder it is like a staircase it's our duty to go on walking go on moving and proceed forward and forward as the time passes so before we understand the poem try to understand that life is like a ladder and it's a journey of miles to go now look at the title stopping by woods on a snowy evening when we are in the company of nature and the poet says that he is a traveler he is a lover of nature he is having highest happiness and a bliss and a rapture in the company of nature so we all the time believe that nature is a source of happiness because nature has its own beauty so let's uh, look at the sunrise which i have with me today so sunrise is also a source of unlimited happiness immense happiness in the life of the people so another finest example of source of happiness to everybody is beauty of snowfall now the situation in this particular poem the scenario in this particular poem is that robert frost being a speaker as well as being a poet and being a human being he is in the company of nature the time is evening and the entire nature is covered by snowfall so there is a white blanket everywhere nature is covered with the beauty of snowfall the land is covered by snow trees are also covered by the snow you can see it into the picture which is there on the slide and it is the desire of every human being to have at least a little dance when there is a snowfall in our life that's why people are crazy to visit different different places during vacation instead of meeting our relatives now let me come back to this inspiring poem which i would like to tell you in brief today and the title of the poem is stopping by woods on a snowy evening what is the impact of this particular poem the impact is that the poet gives us a message that we have to move forward and forward now what is the scenario look at the first stanza woods are woods are lovely dark and deep 
there is a situation in our life when we are having a lot of temptations, but we have to cross these temptations, overcome these temptations and go ahead. Now, in this particular poem written by Robert Frost, structurally or technically, there are four stanzas. And in each stanza, there are four lines. Apart from this, this poem also has a beautiful rhyme scheme that we'll be taking into consideration in due course of time. So, let's try to analyze what the poet has to communicate, convey to all the readers and students across the world in the first stanza. The situation is that the poet is there stopping and standing in the forest and the first stanza goes like this. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though he will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. So what is the scenario here? The poet said that he is standing in the forest. It's evening time and the entire forest is covered by the snow. At the same time, the poet conveys that the place, the location where he is standing, the land belongs to somebody else. And the owner of this land is unfortunately missing the greatest happiness which the poet is enjoying in the company of nature in the evening time. And, and he makes it very clear that the, the scene is enchanting, the scenario is beautiful and it is mesmerizing. Now, let's try to analyze a second stanza. The poet is not alone. He is also having a sleigh, a horse carriage and the horse is taking the poet from one place to another place and now the poet as well as the horse, they are standing in the forest in the evening time. And then in this particular wonderful enchanting poem, Robert Frost has impressively used one personification that is the human qualities are given to the horse and then there are there are there are plain to have questions coming in the mind of the horse that's why the second stanza goes like this my little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and the frozen lake the darkest evening of the year so what the poet has to say the poet said that my, my horse, my best friend, my companion is having a lot of questions. And the question, the weird question, the strange question coming in the mind of the horse is that, Oh, my master, oh, my teacher, why did you stop at one particular place without a farmhouse? And the horse is so surprised to know that the place where his master where the poet has stopped is entirely a lonely place. There is nobody nearby, there is no farmhouse, no village nearby. Then the question is, what is making my master to stop at this particular place? So, strange questions, personification used by Robert Frost to communicate the feelings not only of the people but also the horrors through this particular poem in the second stanza. At the same time, he says that there is a reference to a frozen lake. It means the lake is also covered by snow. And the poet openly tells that it is the darkest evening of the year. Let's try to understand third stanza. Again, the horse is having serious questions in his mind about the surprising standing of the poet at a lonely place. And what the horse is? He gives his harness bell, the shack, to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds, the sweep of easy wind and downy flex. What he has to say now in the third stanza? Again, the poet says that, I was listening only two important sounds which were so melodious in the forest in the evening time and the first sound is the sound of the wind. The wind is howling. At the same time, the second sound heard by the poet melodiously is the sound made by the downy flex. So, Robert Frost is fantastically and impressively using a metaphor, not a metaphor, we call it as onomatopoeia. So, there is a use of onomatopoeia in the third stanza and the last stanza, which is so powerful, which I would like to narrate in few ideas, 
that is the woods are lonely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep dear students dear readers try to understand the significance the importance and the value of this last stanza because late prime minister of india honorable pandit jawarlal nehru was also inspired by this particular stanza and this stanza of this particular poem has an ability capability to reform and transform all the students across the world and the message is that even if we are at one particular place which is the best which is one of the finest in our life but the the, the thing is that the reality and the actuality is that we cannot stop at one particular step for a long time it means wherever we are we must move forward and forward and in the last stanza robert frost very convincingly gives the message that life is like a journey life is like a staircase and it is our duty to go on walking forward and forward forward and forward till we reach to our destinations because even if the forest is beautiful even if the snowfall is beautiful robert frost says that i cannot wait here for a long time reason being i have promises to keep i have responsibilities to be performed and i have obligations to be completed so at last i would like to conclude with the moral of this particular poem that life is like a journey and we must continue forward and forward and forward till we achieve the destinations missions goals and objectives in our life thank you very much for listening patiently and attentively thank you very much <laughs>